All right, gang, let's try this one. So overall, this is the quotient rule. Um, this actually isn't, uh, this isn't chain rule at all. I don't know why they threw this in here. This is not, there's no composites here. This is just chain. The denominator times the derivative of the numerator. Minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. All over the denominator squared. Yeah, this is just this is just basic quotient rule. All right, let me just think about this for a minute. If it's like a lot of stuff to convert this to something nicer, I'm not going to do it. Again, I'm not requiring you guys to use identities. You could just leave your final answer like that. But let me just look at it. So this is 1 over sine squared. This is cos over sine. Okay, so what you could do if you wanted to, and I'm not going to do it, but you can convert everything to sines and cosines and then collapse the complex fraction with that concept. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave the final answer here. I said this in the lecture and I'm saying it in the homework. You're uh, free to use the identities to convert it to the answers in the back of the book or not. Uh, I'm indifferent on that. Okay? All right, gang. But if you want to convert this, you can convert this. This is 1 over sine squared. This is cosine over sine. You'd have a complex fraction. You'd have to get an LCD. Then you'd have to collapse the LCD. It would be quite a bunch of extra steps uh, to go further with this. All right, gang, I'm going to leave it like that. I'll catch you. Bye-bye.